Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with the ANET ET4 series printers. I told you I'd make a design so we could use a real bearing. I've got it printed, so let's get cracking. Alrighty friends, so we have the ET4X here and the first thing I'm going to mention is make sure that you have zip tied these in. In my assembly video I did miss that step somehow. And then this is the filament path and you can see how this comes straight down and it has a bit of a bend into this corner. What I have done is I've printed a modular bearing and a print in place bearing. This simply makes that so it comes in a little bit more straight. And then also I've got the adapter up at the top that is being used as well. Those files are free on Thingiverse. And at the moment I am printing and will upload a design that allows you to print a holder that can use a real bearing. So this one right here prints in place so it's plastic. But there will be a post that you can simply slide this adapter on if you happen to have a bearing. Like say you had an old fidget spinner so that it even spins easier. The part prints in about an hour and you can see it just snaps on so it's easy to remove it if you don't want to use it if you like it you can just push it back on and boom you are back in business and then if we're looking at it all together that is what I've got currently at the top to help the feed have the nice pattern that I want on the way into the printer and there you have a good look at the adapter. You'll see that fits a normal 7mm bearing that you would find in a fidget spinner. And you can see that the ET4X is handling the printing quite well. I'm printing this part at 50mm per second, trying to make sure that I have a good clean print. And it takes about 18 minutes to make this little bearing adapter. And this, my friends, is the peg support that that bearing is going to sit on. Notice it's got that little peg out in front that helps it print that nice and straight so that it slides on the way it's supposed to. Be done in about 15 minutes. There you can see she is almost completed. I did this with 30% infill because I wanted to be a little bit stronger because it's going to hold that bearing. And it is looking like a chain. All right, friends, so let's see what we made. This is the part that'll hold the bearing. This is the bearing and the little guide that I printed for the filament to sit in. This has a little bump on it that keeps it snapped onto here. I did have to use a hammer to uh, push the bearing in to the adapter. Let's see how snug this is. There we got it going. And then it'll just push over. And boom, now that bearing spins pretty darn nifty. And then last but not least, we take this and we slide it in. And that first time it's a little bit snug, but with a little bit of effort, you can snap it in place. And boom, we have just created a filament guide that also has a bearing. And perhaps my favorite part is that it just slides on and slides off. So this is the print in place one. We can swap it out and just as easily slide the new one right into place and it snaps in there nice and snug and then boom your bearing is in place. And after just a little bit of work you got a sweet straight path for your filament. Alrighty friends so the big thing I want to stress is that this is all created in Tinkercad. It's just assembling little pieces, sliding them together and making something you want. Is it essential for the ET4? No. But I like it and I think it's pretty cool and I love that I made it in a browser with a free program and printed it with the printer I'm going to use it on. 
friends this is a file you can find on thingiverse for free there will be a link in the description this is just an update of v9 and of course friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you have any questions comments or suggestions add them down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day